How to create a Telegram bot in Python that lets users launch your Telegram mini app with just one click. We'll build a simple but powerful bot that demonstrates command handling and mini app integration. My name is Nikander. I'm a professional blockchain developer. Let's get started. You can get the full code and detailed text instructions in my Telegram channel. Check the link in the description. Open bot father in Telegram. Make sure it's the official one with the blue verification badge. Type new bot to create your new bot. Bot father will ask you to choose a display name for your bot and then a username that must end in bot. Save the API token that bot father gives you. We'll need it later. Right now, when we try to interact with our bot, it doesn't do anything. We need to configure a script that will process the commands. Let me show you how to write the code that will make our bot respond to user messages and display the mini app launch button. Create a new Python project. I use PyCharm IDE. First, I create a new file called .env, where I store our environment variables. These are important variables that shouldn't be publicly visible. In this file, I define a variable called bot token and paste the bot token I got from bot father. I need this token to interact with our bot. Important: never share this token with anyone or your bot's security will be compromised. I show mine here only because I'll delete this bot before publishing the video. Go to main.py Setup login. The basic config sets up our login configuration. Stream equals sys.std out means we output to the console. Format defines how our log message look. Act time adds the timestamp. Name shows the logger name. Level name shows if it's info, error or warning. Message is our actual log message. Level equals login.info means we'll see all informational messages. The last line creates our logger instance that we'll use to log messages. Add two constants. First one mini app URL is the URL of our mini app. I'm using the mini app from my first guide of mini app development series that displays information about the connected user. Second constant, welcome image path, is the image file name that will be shown to user after they start the bot. We need to put this image in our project's root directory. Use load.env to load our environment variables from the .env file. Then we get our bot token using os.getenv from the bot token variable we defined earlier. Define the text messages our bot will use. The welcome message greets users and explains what the bot does and its main features. The help message lists all available commands that users can use. The info message gives a brief description of what this bot is. Contact message contains my contact information where users can find me. And finally, the about message provides more detailed information about the project and its features. Create our start command handler. When user starts the bot, we log this event with their user ID. Then we create an inline keyboard with a single button that opens our mini app. We wrap this button in the keyboard markup that Telegram requires. Next, we try to send our welcome image along with the welcome message and the mini app button. If we can't find the image file, we lock this error and just send the welcome message with the button without the image. 
define the help command. When a user requests help, we lock this event with their user ID and send them our help message. We will define the rest of comments, info, contact and about in the same way, just sending different messages. Create an error handler. If something goes wrong while our bot is running, we lock the error details. And if the error happened during message processing, we send a friendly message back to the user, letting them know there was a problem and asking them to try again later. Create a signal handler. When we want to stop our bot, like when we press Ctrl C, this handler makes sure the bot shuts down properly by logging the shutdown message and exiting the program. Define our main function that will run all bot functionality. Initialize our bot application using our token. This creates the connection to Telegram's servers. Add all our command handlers. Each line connects a command like start or help to the function that should handle it. Add our error handler to manage any errors that might occur. Set up our signal handler to properly shut down the bot when needed. Finally, we lock that the bot is starting and launch it using run pollen, which makes the bot listen for user messages. Check if this script is being run directly. If it is, we call our main function to start the bot. Our bot is ready. Let's run it and see how it works on Telegram. Let me start the bot. Wow, it looks amazing. The greeting message has the image, text and the button that launches our Telegram mini app. The mini app launches flawlessly and shows our Telegram user information. We can get help to check all the comments, info shows the information, contact shows my contacts, about shows more detailed information about the project. It works awesome. That's it for today, folks. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. See you in the next video.